Pokemon. Thanks for following. All right, let's see if we can get like a, an actual Series 12 game. That is Series 12. Awesome. That's always great when you get it first try. Uh, so they don't really have a way of stopping Trick Room, which is great. Just lead off Mimi. Definitely have to be careful with the... With the guy there, with the Milotic. I think what I'll do here is I can bring... Actually, they really, really hate possibility of Venusaur coming in the bag. Venusaur can really mess them up. Here's what I'll do. Venusaur, Garfield. I don't really need Incineroar. I'll just bring Palkia. Actually, do I bring Palkia at all? I think maybe I'll just bring the, the Torkoal. Yeah, let's do that. That seems, that seems fair. All right. I'm so excited for the official ladder, dude. This is probably... I think this is my second favorite format we've played in Sword and Shield so far. Because Series 10 and Series 7 are kind of tied in my mind. I always get campaign teams or Mythical or Legend spam. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard to find... Uh, <laughs> it's pretty hard to find uh, Series 12 players on the casual ladder. But I managed to do it. All right, so Lando and Didi. I mean, that's just TR. That's just free TR. Likely just going to Airstream. So what I can do here is... I'm going to go for my TR. And I'm going to get in the... Oh, wait, I brought Torkoal. That might be an issue. I For a minute, I thought I brought Incineroar. I mean, I can just go Garfield here. For the first time in forever, I'm playing Sword and Shield Series 12. I don't think I've touched the game since I got BDSP. BDSP is fun, but if you're playing competitive, Sword and Shield's definitely the way to go. Always, He really doesn't want that Trick Room to go up. Hopefully, I don't get flinched here, because if I don't, I think we pretty much just win. Expanding Horse. I call it Expanding Horse because I'm used to seeing it on Calyrex. Ah, we get flinched. Okay, that's not great. However, however, uh, it's not unwinnable. I definitely need the Trick Room is the issue. Dang it, man. Okay. Uh, I should be able to Will-O-Wisp this guy right here. And I prefer... To sack the Venusaur in this case. I can burn that guy. That'd be great. Earth power? Okay. So it's a special attacker. And it's also faster than my Mimikyu. Is that like Scarf and Didi? Oh, I guess I'm just minimum speed. Okay, so, <laughs> what have we learned? Uh, I'm getting bodied. I don't think this is unwinnable. I think we can still do this, because I'm probably going to survive the Earth Power. And I'm probably just going to get my, um, what's it called? I'm probably just going to get my weakness policy from this. A special Lando doesn't hit that hard. Mr. Boosted, can you name six random Pokemon on a hop on ladder right now? Celesteela, Garchomp, uh, Emolga, Galvantula. Um, Macho Man, Randy Savage. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> 
Okay, so I think this isn't a bad position, to be honest, really. We have Trick Room turns, and we haven't Dynamaxed yet. And we have an Eruption Torkoal, so it's like... Where there's a Torkoal, anything's possible. Anyways. Let's go ahead and Dynamax now. Max Steel Spike, obviously. And uh, we'll go for the Eruption. It's always possible to win in these bad situations. <laughs> PB, how you doing? Yeah, there's the follow me. He's still gonna get earth powered though, or not earth powered, um what's it called? Eruptioned. So let's see how much this does. Not quite a KO. Good in you. I'm doing alright. I'm doing pretty alright. I landed my first uh, YouTube sponsor, so I'm pretty excited about that. Alright, Torkoal can eat this. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I mean, now I just click Heat Wave and Max Steel Spike over and over and over and over and over again. It's probably just Groudon, right? Xerneas? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. So here's the fun thing. I can make Xerneas a non-issue. I'm going to max Steel Spike this guy right here. And I am going to go for the... Actually, is there a reason to do that? There's no reason to yawn, like, ever. Yeah, I guess it just heat wave. Uh, I have to save the yawn. I have to make sure I don't get one shot by the Xerneas. And the only way to do that is um, attacking it, obviously. I need enough Trick Room turns to get a yawn off versus the Groudon, and then I should win. And I should secure a double KO next turn. Unless I miss this Grout or this uh, Landris, of course. But Landris is probably within range of Eruption, so I don't have to risk it. Okay, maybe now I have to risk it because of that. <laughs> All right. Um, how many turns of Trick Room are left? I need like two. All right, two. That'll work. If I don't miss this Heat Wave, we're fine. All right, awesome. Now I don't think I ever lose this just because I'm at plus three defense as a freaking uh, <laughs> as a freaking Solgalia, and they're just gonna give me weakness policy. Yeah, basically this comes down to landing a yawn. Obviously, Pew Blades is still going to hurt. As my whole team's weak to it. He doesn't even have to risk the Pew Blades. He can, like, Dynamax. Alright. Time to play a game I like to call. I really hope your Groudon doesn't have Protect. If he Dynamaxes here, that means he doesn't have Protect. I'm just going to say that. Because there's no reason to Dynamax. Yo, he doesn't have Protect! Let's go! <laughs> 
Also, my Torkoal's at plus three defense. I'm just going to put that out there. So behind a Protect, I'd probably tank a Max, uh, a max Quake. All right, take bets. Who is he prioritizing? Yawn, Epic. Who's he prioritizing? That was good damage. I hope it's Torkoal. Let's go! <laughs> That's probably just a win. He has to crit me to win now. And if he doesn't crit me, um, I get plus two, and I have two free turns to... Sunsteel Strike him. So my play is always Sunsteel Strike twice. Alright, please do not crit me. <laughs> please, please, please do not crit me right now. Max Flare? That's fine. That does even less. That, that was like overheat or something. He hit me with a special attack. That, that was like overheat. That had to be overheat. What the hell? Is he running like a Ruption Groudon? Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose that's also an option. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, looks like... Ooh, XY. I have not seen XY in a long time. This is really cool, actually. Um, I mean, I should get off my Trick Room if I do this. Not too much a reason not to do that. Um, definitely want my Solgaleo and my Palkia, I think. All right, let's see. Yeah, T-Tar was crazy in early Sword and Shield. T-Tar, Excadrill, Togekiss, like, they were all amazing. Togekiss is, like, the only Pokemon that remained good through almost every format. It kind of fell off in the restricted ones. How do you get in on viewer battles? You just at me. You literally just at me. In the chat, but um, right now, I don't know if I'll be able to get through everyone, because I'm only streaming for 40 more minutes. Hey, Griffin, what's up? Okay, so yeah, I should always get off my Trick Room here. I'm gonna fake out, um, cause there's no way Eveltal breaks my my disguise and KOs me. Okay. Some might consider this a waste of a Trick Room. I would disagree. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp here into the Eveltal. And I want to actually go for just a... I can just go for the Flare Blitz and the Volcarona. I really I really want to make sure that if the Amoongus is in the back, I catch it. I wish we had a format without Legendary. So many cool mons become unplayable. Do you mean like restricted legendaries or just legendaries in general? Because with restricted legendaries, I can kind of see where you're coming from. But with legendaries in general, they tend to only make more Pokemon viable. Because they just have proper support. Alright. I hope it's physically volatile, even though I know it's not. This is just kind of worth it. <laughs> Alright, I should be able to Snarl next turn. This just kind of covers my bases, you know? That's fine. I actually would unironically prefer to be burned on my Mimikyu. <laughs> it actually isn't really bad. Alright, I should be able to Snarl here and... Uh... Shadow Sneak to make sure that Volt goes down. Yeah. 
protect. That's fine. As long as I snarl this uh, Evelt, I'll be happy with this turn. Alright, I connect on the Eveltal, that's great. There's the Airstream, hopefully into... Alright, not into, not into who I wanted it to be in, but it still works. I'm kind of wasting the Dynamax turns on him, which is really good for me. Um, I suppose here I can actually play rough the Volcarona, be safe. I mean, if it's... No, nah, I'm not going to do that. The reason I'm not going to do that is because I really don't want to find out that it's freaking... <laughs> I don't want to KO the Volcarona with a Snarl and then find out that this is weakness policy of Alta. I'm just going to play it safe and not hit it with a super effective move. I'd rather just neuter it so it can't do anything. Because at minus two in both offensive stats, it's not really a threat to Solgaleo anymore. Is there a queue for the battles? There is, but there are currently three people in it, and I don't know if I'm going to get through everyone, so I'm just going to take one more once the queue is empty. And it's kind of just first come, first serve at that point. Awesome, cool, and Sinora stays alive. I really hope that it isn't Amoongus. I would imagine Amoongus would come out earlier. Incineroar? That's fine. That's honestly fine. Alright, um... Dynamax is over now. And the Veltal didn't really achieve any KOs. So what I can do here is... How many turns are left to Trick Room? Like two? One turn left to Trick Room. I should just be able to stay in here and play rough. And uh, I'm going to hard switch into my Palkia. Because I don't want to lose my Incineroar right now. I think the fake out in the end game could be really nice. Especially if they didn't bring the Xerneas in the end. Alright, nice. There's the Protect. That's great. That's fine. Darkest Lariat. Incredible. So Mimikyu should go down here. Yep, okay. And what I can do is take advantage of this turn to set up a Trick Room. And I should be able to win with uh, Solgaleo now. Yeah, I'm going to Trick Room here. The Hydro Pump should always KO. Is that my play? Yeah, I Trick Room. I could just Dynamax this uh, Palkia and probably win. Uh, Yeah, this is safer. This is safer. I don't really need to Dynamax my Solgaleo in this game. I mean, the Seveltal is at minus two in both of its offensive stats. So, you know, it, it, it eats, like, everything. And this guarantees that the uh, Incineroar won't be able to do anything. I guess if they have Snarl, that could mess me up, but I should still set up the rain so I get Trick Room off. Dark Pulse. Should tank that. Nice. Less than half, too. Hopefully I don't get flinched. That'd be annoying. And before foul play, that's why I burned it. <laughs> that's why I burned it early in the game, in case there was a foul play. All 
All right, don't get flinched and we should win. Trick room, awesome. So uh, the only way that this doesn't work out is if there's an Amoongus in the back, but I think there's probably gonna be a Xerneas. If, if there isn't an Amoongus, we just win. If there is, it gets a little bit more annoying, but we should win anyways. Considering the Eveltal is just nerfed into the ground. By the way, guys, I have to say, I'm really happy. We've been like over 100 viewers for like the past five streams. I think I'm going to get partnership this month. I really think I am. Oh, there is an Amoongus. Okay. Uh, not really the end of the world. Truly not really the end of the world. Uh, let's go ahead and... I suppose we can just annihilate the Eveltal. Oh, Pollen Puff. Okay, that's fine. Do they not have Spore? And that should do it. Nice. All right. GG's, dude. Am I next on the, uh, on the list? Just curious. Yes, Moltres, you are next on the list.